Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the Foxtag YouTube channel. Foxtag has been providing you with tutorials literally for years and this is going to be the one of them. And the topic for today is why can't I put widgets on my iPad home screen? In case you are wondering about that, you for some reason don't have the option to add widgets, I'm going to explain exactly how it works and why the problem may occur. Now, it depends on your situation. Of course, your iPad size of the home screen is limited. So in case you have a screen like this, or let me just swipe it over, or this one, it doesn't matter. In case you fully stack it with widgets, perhaps you don't have the option to add it because the screen is full. For example, if I wanted to add another big size weather widget like this one to the iPad home screen or something like this in a big size, I'm just not going to be able to add it there since I don't have the option to. I just don't have enough space. If I hold down on the screen to make everything shake and tap on the plus icon in the upper left corner, I'm going to get to all of the widgets. And right now, if I want to add something big like this one, you can see this is the big widget. I can add it, but no more options are going to be here. So you can see that it moved it over and my screen is almost full okay okay so this one was able to be put there on the home screen it still fits however if i want to add one more thing in here you can see i can only add one more icon there is only space for one icon but you basically get my point in case your ipad's home screen is full of widgets you're not going to be able to add them by the way guys if you want to know everything about your iphone apps you have to click the link down below in the description it's a hundred percent free education platform where i publish like video editing courses there is going to be the all apps explained course which is coming up it's going to explain every single app on your iphone it's going to be really cool so go ahead and check out that link it's free to access so yeah go ahead and do that right now but the second approach or the second problem is that your app actually doesn't even support widgets so you can see i can add for example widgets from the app store battery weather third-party widgets you can see i have the books app i can add many different widgets but if i want to add a widget for the settings for example i don't have the option to because the app simply does not support it to see which apps actually support it the only way to find out about it is again go to the edit mode and tap onto the plus icon in here you're going to be presented with a list of all the apps which have widgets available so in case you find the app right here it means that the widget is supported so for example i have a widget for weather for youtube for wallet all of these apps simply work but if i try to find the settings in here you can see i cannot find anything the apps are even sorted alphabetically so ps and I can see no settings option here is available. So if I want to add settings to my iPad home screen as a widget, I don't have the option to because it simply doesn't have it. It doesn't support it. So you can only pick from those which are available in here. However, if you want to add some new ones, what you have to do is go to the App Store and find app which either specifies itself in creating widgets. So for example, this one is called Widgetsmith or there is another app called Color Widgets. In that case, you can download that app and customize your own widgets and add them to the home screen without any problems. So you can even put there whatever you want, you can customize it, or you need to find some kind of third party app, it doesn't matter what it is, any app, and you can, you're can you gonna find out if it supports widgets or not. So it's another option, just download some kind of third party app, it doesn't matter what it is, let's say you download the Dropbox, then you're gonna be able to see if it supports widgets or or not to see how it how it actually works so yeah you can download it on the ipad and try to add it to the home screen to see if any widgets are actually available there so yeah that's about it that's basically the reasons why you can't add to do the widgets to your ipad home screen i'm gonna wrap up this video right now hope you found it useful and informative if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up but definitely subscribe down below so you never miss videos like this one in the future thanks a lot for watching see you guys later